Now, 4-Warn Weather with Exact Track 4D Radar. Exclusive technology for the most up-to-the-minute weather information in your neighborhood. All right, on this Friday afternoon, the weekend's off to a really pleasant start. Here's a live look at Southfield. Uh, I bet some folks are probably leaving work early to start their weekend. It is a gorgeous day out there. It really is. It was yeah. a washout, obviously. Uh, I mean, you know, yesterday, but that, oh, 24 hours later. I know. It's well, really even nice. even two hours later. Yeah, that's I true. Mean, it just <laughs> moved through so quickly. They were moving to the east. These storms uh, about 45 miles per hour. So, you know, from Howell to Mount Clemens, they were in right. and out, and that was it. Uh, but a lot of damage and, and people cleaning up today. And those power outages. And I'll show you where we stand exactly with those county by county in just a moment. There's a little freighter going down the, the Detroit River now, and a sailboat right out ahead of it. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, 81 degrees in. Detroit, 78 in Howell. A lot of these boats coming back from the port here on a Mac race. 77 in Pontiac, 78 in Adrian. Here's a look at the current power outages. We've seen some improvement, but certainly a lot of folks still without power. 16,000 in Oakland County, uh, 18,000 in Wayne County, and about 9,500 over in Macomb County. So hopefully everyone gets it restored quickly. And you can enjoy this nice weekend. At least tonight's going to be dry for those that don't have power. Maybe you're watching us on your phone. Uh, it's going to be cool tonight and dry, so you can open up the windows. It's not scorching heat without air conditioning. Uh, tomorrow, there's a very slight chance of an isolated shower, which basically means most of you won't see a drop of rain tomorrow. Better chance we'll get a couple scattered showers. Doesn't mean everyone will see the rain on Sunday, but Monday is when we have the best chance for rain and then dry for Tuesday and Wednesday. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow, we've got a lot of sunshine, a really pretty start to the weekend, but we do notice just a couple of showers pop up. But most places stay dry throughout the entire weekend. Sunday at 2 o'clock, we again see a couple of areas of rain, not expecting severe weather, but we'll just have to kind of watch for things to pop here and there. This is a good time for you to have that 4-1 weather app because if there is a shower near you, first of all, it won't last very long if you get it at all. And second of all, that app will let you know when it's coming and when it's going. 82 in uh, downtown Detroit tomorrow, normal highs 84, 83 Sunday, 85 Monday. So we're right on track with normal for this this time of year. By the end of next week, though, we go back into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Allergy forecast. Well, our air quality is good, but if you're still kind of sniffling and sneezing, you've got some itchy eyes, could be because of the sensitivity to mold and grass, both of which are high right now. Ragweed and tree pollen, just a trace of those. So your forecast for tonight, as I said, beautiful. Open up the windows. It will be dry, a pleasant start to the weekend. It's not humid either because winds are out of the north. So 62 degrees to Tonight, tomorrow, we'll get some sunshine isolated. And I just can't stress that enough. Isolated shower. Not everyone gets rain tomorrow. 82 degrees. Don't plan your weekend around rain, but just keep an eye out on Sunday, especially for a scattered shower or two. But otherwise, sunshine, a high of 83. And then there you go. Thursday and Friday next week. Not only are we in the 90s, but we could also get some storms once again. All right. Always on the weekend. All right. I know, right? right? I know. All right.